So we will be continuing with the stack and queue playlist today we're starting off. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing extremely well. So the problem that we will be solving today is nearest smaller element. But it was starting off. Please, please make sure that you have seen my video on next greater element. Please, right? So what is the problem statement? It's stating that you're given an array which has integers, right? And for every element, you'll have to tell me the nearest smaller element on the left, on the left. Yes, that is the question. For an example, I'm standing at 4. And if I look to the left, I don't have anything. Thereby, the nearest smaller element will be minus 1 because I don't have any 1. Okay. If I'm standing at 5 and if I look to the left, I have 4. So I'll write 4. If I stand at 2 and if I look to the left, do I have any 1? No, I don't have. I don't have anyone who's smaller than 2. Thereby, I write minus 1. If I stand at 2 and if I look to the left, I have 2. I have 2. Thereby, I can write 2. If I stand at 8, is 10 smaller than 8? No. Is 2 smaller than 8? Yes. Thereby, 2 can be the answer. So, this will be my next uh, nearest smaller element. So this is the array that you will have to return. So, what is the uh, extreme, uh, extreme name solution that you can think of? Stand at every element and look to the left. Super simple. So what I will do is, I'll take next smaller element of size n and then I'll iterate over all the element 0 till n minus 1 and for every element, I'll start iterating from i minus 1 and backwards till 0 and if any element is smaller than, very important, is smaller than array of i not equal to smaller than in that scenario, I'll say NS of NSE of I will be array of G and at the same time, I can say break. And that will be done for this for loop and this is done. And eventually, I could end up returning NSE. So, this will be my extreme naive solution or the brute force. So, what will be the time complexity? The time complexity will be definitely big of N square, like somewhere near about that. And the space complexity is big of N that I'm using to store the answer. Now, I'm not using it to solve. It's used to store the answer. Do not modify the input array. It's not recommended. Okay, so in this uh, scenario, the interviewer will not be happy with big of n square. And I'll ask you to optimize it. So we need to optimize big of n square. And I'm looking for next, uh, rather nearest, smaller element, right? So we've already done a similar problem where I was looking for next greater element. Okay, so in the next greater element, Imagine I'm standing at this one as looking towards the right. Over here, I'll be looking towards the left because I'm uh, finding the next, or uh, rather nearest smaller element on the left. So I'll be looking towards the left. So the iteration should start from left. Yes, the iteration should start from the left. Perfect. So what I'll do is, I'll again take a stack data structure. The same concept. We'll not be doing an entire dry run this time. We'll be taking a stack data structure. When we start off, do we have anything in the stack? No. So I can straight away say minus 1 for this one. And I can take 5 and put it into the stack data structure. Then I can go to the 7. Now this is where I check the stack and I see that there is 5, which is smaller, which is smaller. So I can say 5 is my answer. Okay. 5 is my answer. Do you take out 5? No, you don't take out. Rather, you insert 7. You insert 7 and you move to the next, which is 9. Now, for 9, when you look in the stack, you have a 7, which can be your nearest small element. So, I'm fine with it. I'll say, okay, 7 is my answer and I'll put on 9. After that, I move to 6. And when I'm moving to 6, remember, this time, I'm trying an increasing order. I'm trying an increasing order. Something like a 5, 7, 9. So I'm coming to 6, right? If I'm coming to 6, the increasing order will be broken. So for 6, can 9 be the answer? No. Can 7 be the answer? No. So what I'll do is, I'll take 9 off, then I'll take 7 off. And after that, I have a 5, which is okay. 5 will be my answer. And I'll put on 6, and I'll move ahead to 7. At 7, the top element is 6. I'll say 6 is okay. 
I'll put on 7 and I'll move forward to 4. Now when I go to 4, I check the stack. 7, no. 6, no. 5, no. Because all of them are greater. So I'll take out 4. I'll take out all of them. And I'll say there's nothing on the stack, so minus 1. And then I put a 4. And you can complete the process. So in this scenario, what I did was, I did a increasing order. I did store in increasing order. So this monotonic stack is an increasing is in the increasing order. Got it? Why? Because we are looking for next smaller, rather nearest smaller element. Perfect. Quite similar to next greater element. So what I'll do is I'll quickly get into the pseudo code. So I'll have to return list. So list of int. Find maybe NSE. NSE. And then I'll have to take an array. Perfect. I take an array. What is my next job? My next uh, a job is to declare an NSE of size n. What is the next job? Take a stack of st, stack st. Again, uh, this is a pseudo code. You could write it in your language. You can find the code below. I'll start iterating from forward direction till the last, which is n minus 1. And I know one thing. If the stack is non empty, if the stack is non empty, and, and, the stack dot top is greater than or equal to the array of i. I'm not entertaining any greater elements. I will say stack dot pop. Perfect. Once this is done, I will say n s e of i will be if the stack is empty. The stack is nothing. Then it will be minus one. Then it will be minus one. Or I will say it will be stack dot top. Perfect. After this. I will say stack dot push array of i and then I'll end the for loop. And once I'm done with it, I can end with returning nse. And that is where the function ends. It's very important to understand whether you need to traverse forward, traverse backward, whether you need an increasing stack, whether you need a decreasing stack. That is why I'm doing this problem. Got it? So, what will be the time complexity? Similar to Next, great elements, I'll not be explaining. B go of 2n, n for this one, and you're popping out at max n elements throughout the journey. What about the space complexity? A B go of n for the stack, and a B go of n for this one. Again, uh, do not modify the given input. Not recommended. So this will be it for this one. I hope you've understood everything. So if you're still now watching, and if you've understood everything, please, please do consider giving us a like, and if you're new to our channel, do consider subscribing to us as well. With this, I'll be wrapping up this video. Let's make some other video. Till then, bye bye. Take care.